Yes, up guys, we're going to be starting a new video series today. This is all about Isotope Ozone 7. We're going to be using the advanced version and we'll be going through everything to do with this plugin top to bottom. So what is Isotope Ozone 7? It is a all-in-one mastering plugin. Uh, naturally, it will go on your master, which it is. And when you first start it up, you are displayed with your preset window and uh, the plugin itself. So I get kind of annoyed when this pops up every time, so I'm gonna get rid of that. So it does not show at startup. Uh, you can always go back to it by clicking on the default thingy down here. So this is what it looks like when you first open it. You have your, whatever module you have selected will be appearing here. So we have all these here. So I'm just gonna hit the X to remove all the modules. So this is what I kind of like to see when I first uh, open the plugin. You have your equalizer, your vintage equalizer, your vintage tape exciter, your vintage compressor, your multiband dynamics, your dynamic EQ, imager, post EQ, vintage limiter, and maximizer. The reason why these are in this order is because this is basically the order that you'll be working in. Uh, you'll have your equalizer to like you know, do like roll-offs and high-passes and stuff like that. Your vintage EQ to add some color, your vintage tape to add some subtle low-end, uh, and so on. And at the end, you'll have your uh, maximizer. So you basically add in a module like so, and uh, there you have it right there. And they all appear in series. You can click to add a module. You can add another one, which would be the maximizer, and uh, there you go. So you have those there. On the right, you have your readout. I'll just play a little bit of music so you can see. Right, and that's your readout uh, for your levels. You can bypass it. Uh, you can make it mono, which, uh, you know, uh, you would sometimes um, EQ in mono uh, to it's just better to EQ in mono, I don't know why. Uh, sometimes it's better to check in mono, and there's a button dedicated to make, make things uh, mono. And you can swap the left and right. You have your uh, codec preview, uh, which emulates a uh, what, it'll, what it will sound like converted to MP3. And you can uh, turn that on and off. And then you have your dither, which we will get into um, at a later stage. Dither is the last thing you do. Uh, and uh, yeah, that is uh, basically the intro. Um, and I just briefly went over the uh, the UI workflow. Basically, is you just drop in a module, do your business, drop in another module, use what you need, and uh, yeah, you can just drop them in. You can move things around and uh, add things. Do all sorts of fun stuff. Add another EQ post, and uh, yeah, it's a pretty fantastic workflow. Um, and we're going to be going through each module, and and then some. It's going to be a, a plethora of videos, and I hope you stick around. Okay, we're going to be back with uh, part two. Uh, take care and have a good one.